Hello folks, this is Point Adam of the Awesome Sauce Comics Podcast. It is October 4th. Duh. That was yesterday. It's October 5th, 2016. Uh, and uh, I'm going to do a little quick video here. Up in here. Uh, basically. Uh, this will be the only episode for the week, which is episode 198. I thank you all very much. Uh, the rest of the week will be at, I'll be at the Javits Center. New York Comic Con starts Thursday, October 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. Um, I'll be wheeling Dylan Vagina Stealing. One more time. I'm really, really looking forward to a couple of events. I'm looking for, really looking forward to uh, Thursday, the uh, Dark Knight, the Batman Return of the Cape Crusader world premiere with the uh, cast, including Adam West Q and A. That's happening Thursday between five thirty to seven thirty. Uh, looking forward to, uh, you know, uh, meeting Frank Miller on Saturday, again, there's going to be copies of the Sin City, the Hard Goodbye, Corner Edition, and this, this hardcover looks sweet, you know, but, uh, this time I'll try to I'll try to ask a question without looking like a blubbering idiot. You know, uh, I'm also looking forward to uh, Stan Lee's last convention appearance. Gonna get some stuff signed. You get inside Gotham. So if you're a fan of comic books, movies, TV, pop culture, hot girls, and costumes, action figures with the kung fu grip. New York Comic Con. Yeah. We're better than San Diego Comic Con. It's like Biggie beat Tupac. New York Comic Con will beat San Diego Comic Con. Testify. You know, uh, but it only comes once a year. I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm gonna try to get it. A question or two with Carrie Fisher on Sunday. Assuming that Hurricane Matthew doesn't whip our monkey ass. And I'm feeling a little under the weather too, so. Slight headache, slight, slight bump in the throat. But, uh, just want to do a quick review of The Flash, a quick review of Gotham. Say, I love you, I thank you. I'm now two episodes away from episode 200. And I hope to get the videos for 200 more. You know, uh... Monday... Oh, hang on a second. Where's my water at? Like I said, man, uh... I'm pretty sure there's also a, uh, Comic Book Man, uh, panel for his I know that there is a, uh... Stan Lee Roundtable with Chris Claremont, Walter Simonson, and Kevin Smith. At the theater at MSG, that's going to be phenomenal. Of course, 
There's a four pack of all Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle villains, which is consists of Krang, I think it's Krang, Shredder, Bebop, and Rocksteady. That's a must get for turtle fans. You get the graffiti designs, DC Rebirth Foil Editions. And uh, you've been spoiled, so I can just say that. Yes. The uh, Teen Titans number one with Damian Wayne. Damian Wayne. Whipping all the Teen Titans go. Kids' asses was phenomenal. Well done. I mean, Damian went through them like like a hooker on a condo. Like night before for night through butter. Damien just kicked their ass. It was a great, great read. I like the way they're 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 using Damien. I cannot wait for Super Sons. Damien went and Jonathan Kent at the New World's Finest. But this was a nice little holdover. You know, uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, those, those foil variants, the, the San Diego and the Baltimore Comic Con ones do really, really well in the aftermarket. These should too. You know, uh, and now, like I said, man. Yeah, so forgive me, my throat is really bothering me. You know what? Uh, now I'm gonna do the review of Gotham. Gotham on Monday night. I didn't see the whole episode yet. I only saw the last 30 minutes of it. But what I saw was fucking awesome sauce. It was awesome sauce. I mean, the Mad Hatter was badass. Whether it was him, how does fuck the suck this out of the Gotham Sirens Bar and Gotham keep 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 customers coming in? Who's getting destroyed, blown up, and beat people, beating it every freaking week. I mean, they, they have a little bit of a twist on the, the Jarvis Tetch, Mad Hatter, Allison, or Alice thing in the comics. They were not brother and sister. Here, I didn't mind it very much. I also, also, also loved the way that he was so badass. This was the scene of the episode for me. That I thought they were going to make Jim Gordon jump. Basically, you know, like I said, you've been spoiled already, so. Spoiler warning. You know, uh, if they keep the Mad Hatter this way the entire season, it's going to be great. He basically puts people in trances. You know, uh, just phenomenal. I also, also, also really, really loved the fact that, um, you got Falcone's son engaged to Lee. You know, that's gonna bite Jim in the ass. <clears throat> you know, somehow that's gonna bite James Gordon in the ass. The Mario Falcon, which may make his first appearance in the Long Halloween miniseries. You know, uh, but I like to also really like to see when they, when they're in the hospital, and uh, Mario introduces himself to James Gordon, and then James does what every you know guy does when the girls go. Yo, ain't got what I need, and we're gonna just be friends, and we're gonna just be friends. Yeah, what the fuck's a friend zone anyways? But 
but that's besides the point. You know, uh, and James is just like, if I find out you hurt her or make her not happy, I will fucking kill you. And I thought that was sweet. You know, I, I love Gotham. I also, also loved uh, the Riddler. Enigma getting out of prison by the uh, by the penguin, and the penguin's running for mayor. Now, I don't want to know if they took that from Batman Returns. Is this something they came up with there on their own? Because it makes sense with what they did with the with penguin uh, bringing down the monster man. But uh. Hopefully I'll get to ask Robin this, this weekend where they're going with this, but I really liked it. I really, really liked it. It puts the Enigma back on the board. Maybe in a question marked green shirt. He needs a female sidekick again. You know, uh... They still should have never killed off Kringle. They should have made, made Kringle... Eddie Nigmas, because Eddie Nigmas all about the pussy. Yeah, he goes. <laughs> Riddle me this. What is in the center of a put of a Tootsie Pop? Answer. It's cream filling. <laughs> Testify. You know, uh, the only thing I'm not too sure about is where the uh, Court of Owls, um, Bruce Wayne doppelganger story is going. I think it's going to be Selena who figures it out. Figures out that it's not the real Bruce Wayne and then shit's going to go down, but I'm not a big fan of it so far. You know, if this is TV's like in March, then what the fuck. But I cannot wait. I cannot wait for the Saturday 11th, 11 o'clock panel for Inside Gotham with uh, Aaron Richards, uh, David Devad, Masseus, and Robin Ward Taylor in New York Comic Con. And I cannot wait to watch, see where the season goes. <coughs> for all us comic book money making motherfuckers. Who wants to listen to make the money, 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 money with the comics? Um, here are three Mad Hatter books that you can make the money with. One would be, you know, Detective Comics 230, which is the first Silver Age appearance of the riddle of uh, Mad Hatter, which. Also introduces the TV version from the 1966 television show Mad Hatter. He was the imposter, takes takes out Jervis Touch for a while. Up until the cheaper of the two books you can make the money with, which is Detective Comics 510. Detective 510, first modern age appearance of Jervis Touch. He is the Mad Hatter. He is a great villain you know uh another really great book that you can make the money with is uh batman number two from the new 52 series number two second print you know it's the first court of owls and uh and it also seemed to be batman number 11 and from that, from the new 52 Scott Snyder, Greg Cupolo series. You know, uh, which reveal, when it may come Marsh reveals that he's Thomas Wayne Jr. You know, uh, now we're going to go over to the fastest man alive, The Flash.
The Flash Flashpoint Part 1 was just phenomenal. Well done. Outside of Luke Cage's Netflix, The Flash is the second best television show I've watched in the last couple of days. Grant Gustin kills it as Barry Allen. Candace Patton killed it as Iris West. Any of the scenes with uh, with Barry and the uh, Ebert Bong in Ebert's little basement prison made the show. Um, I hope we get more douchebag douchebag Ramon. Cisco is a douchebag billionaire. It was freaking great. You know, uh, I also, also want to see exactly how Paradox is going to play out, which is next week's episode. Because I couldn't see what was going on at the that ending clip with the Zoom. Or with the rival. I also didn't think we were going to get Wally as the Flash this quick. You know, uh, but I, I enjoyed their interaction together. And uh, we're off to a great start. You know, uh, I'll have more reviews, more theories. I have nothing right now. My voice is starting to give out. I gotta get ready for New York Comic Con. And uh, keep one foot in the gutter, one fist in the gold. Feel out the handle, too cold to hold. I thank you all for being an awesome, amazing, awesome sus family. I love you all. Peace. Bye now. Viewfinder, take picture. Stop recording video. Stop recording video.